Greetings to everyone. My name is Dr. Sharma and I am a pediatrician. Welcome back to our channel, Child Health Matters. Gift for our babies. Yes, we are going to talk about one single thing which can change somebody's life. Please do watch until end. And if you like it, if you think it is going to be useful and change someone's life, please do share. And most importantly, do not forget to comment. Well, you must be wondering, looking at the screen, a needle prick or a blood test as a gift? Yes, I mean it. And you read it absolutely right. Let us talk a little bit about a background behind it. We all have what we call as a thyroid gland in our neck, somewhere here, and it produces a hormone called as thyroid hormone. You might be aware about so many people around us or some of around us having what is called as underactive thyroid and taking treatment for that. The thyroid hormone actually starts working while the baby is still inside mother's womb and it produces thyroid hormone which is very much important for the development of the baby in so many aspects but one of the most important aspect of thyroid hormone is the brain development in the early years of life congenital hypothyroidism is primarily an underactive thyroid present from the birth if it is not diagnosed in time and not treated early then it can lead to lifelong intellectual disabilities and learning difficulties, apart from all of the problems which happens with congenital hypothyroidism. Let us look at the gravity of the problem. From every 2,000 to 4,000 babies born, one baby is going to have congenital hypothyroidism or underactive thyroid. And obviously, if it is not diagnosed and treated, all these babies are likely to suffer from intellectual disability. So it is the most common cause of preventable intellectual disabilities. I would like to mention here that a mental retardation was a term previously used for this kind of difficulties. And the good thing is that it can be tested by one single simple blood test. We call it as a TSH, which is the shorter form of thyroid stimulating hormone. So this blood test is done somewhere around six to seven days of the age of a newborn baby. And if it is abnormal, it can detect babies who have underactive thyroid. Now, why this is important? Because uh, underactive thyroid cannot be assessed or checked by a simple examination of a baby. These babies will look exactly similar to other normal babies for a period of time before showing their actual problems. Let us have a look around what happens in the world. Uh, there are a few countries, maybe about 12 to 15 countries, they have a national health program for the newborn babies where they go through a blood test for quite a few diseases and one of that is the underactive thyroid. Now, as you can see that only 15 countries are doing this. It means the facility is not available to the majority and majority of our babies on this planet. So everyone is not lucky. Yeah, the basic question, can we do anything about it? Yes, of course. I think we can all work together. One is by spreading the message so that the affording parents can at least have this done for their babies. We can speak to our government health organizations where they can include this test into national health programs. The charities can come forward for help and as well as the corporates can come forward for helping all these babies. Um, so what do you think? A message worth acting and sharing? Okay. You may help to change someone's life. Please do not forget underactive thyroid present from the birth or congenital hypothyroidism is the most common cause of intellectual disabilities and it is preventable. Thank you so much for your valuable time.